I think it's time to start. <laughs> So I am uh, Ilya Zverev from Russia, uh, and uh, I'm going to talk a bit about my favorite topic, uh, the inevitable demise of OpenStreetMap, and uh, what are we doing to, well, avoid, uh, avoid that. And uh, I will start with uh, Azores. Uh, we have a lot of Azores in OpenStreetMap, but uh, most used uh, Azores are desktop ones. Uh, it's pretty clear from statistics. Uh, mobile editors get uh, uh, in person around zero point uh, whatever users. So, uh, and what are desktop editors, most popular ones in OpenStreetMap, are good for? Basically for tracing imagery. Uh, everyone uh, traces imagery in all the editors. The first question uh, new mappers ask is how do I get uh, Google satellite in my editor because there is no, no my, uh, there isn't my village in OpenStreetMap. So basically, yeah, all that people do in editors is, uh, is uh, trace imagery. And we know Missing Maps project is uh, very good for it, and uh, people like to uh, trace buildings and roads in their own hometown, and so on. Uh, that's uh, n not a bad uh, thing, but uh, uh, I assume that uh, the world has been mapped pretty well. Uh, by now, and uh, we've uh, heard some talks about uh, neural networks and how they do all that work for us. So basically, what we need to uh, add an open seat map uh, is local knowledge. And I'd argue that uh, editors, are, desktop editors, are completely unsuitable for adding local knowledge to open seat map because, uh, uh, unlike satellite imagery, it uh, the local knowledge isn't inside your home. You have to go out and somehow collect it and then get back to OpenStreetMap. And there is uh, very much of it, of it. There are uh, thousands, millions of shops, amenities, uh, benches, and whatever, and uh, experienced mappers uh, are not enough to collect all the data. You have to... Uh, you have to find, uh, make regular people contribute in the, to contribute data to OpenStreetMap, and uh, it's obviously is not easy because uh, in the current workflow you have to uh, know about OpenStreetMap. You have to uh, learn desktop editors. You have to prepare like print field papers or uh, uh, make photos, uh, and you have to uh, run from security staff for taking photos, and then you take that. Uh, to home and you load it in the desktop editor and you fight uh, timing and uh, uh, GPS issues and then you know, uh, have to browse through, through my features page to know correct text and so on and so on. So uh, entering local knowledge points of interest in OpenStreetMap is not easy. But uh, we do need it and uh, the way to do it is quite obvious, is uh, making people go out <laughs> on the street and take knowledge. And uh, there are already companies that make people go out of their homes, like this one. Just two days ago, while I was waiting for a social event, I've seen every 20 minutes people coming and catching some Pokemons. And th they weren't doing any mapping, and there's a pity, but uh, of course, that can be leveraged. And uh, we'll know what, what company is the first to leverage uh, such people. Uh, there was an, an announcement by Google just uh, two days ago about uh, editing feature that uh, they include in, into their Google Maps application. So everyone, uh, even without a Google account, can uh, uh, just uh, edit any place on their map and or at a missing place. Uh, so contribute the local knowledge to Google Maps. They don't have to register. They uh, don't have to do anything to learn any tagging system or whatever. Just, uh, well, collect the data. And uh, that's the first part of it. The second part is uh, Google actively rewards uh, such contributions. Uh, they put incentives like if you contribute a lot, then you become supervisor of your area. If you contribute uh, LS squared, then you uh, can re receive some gifts or maybe go to uh, the mappers uh, gathering in your area. So, uh, and it works very good, uh, works uh, quite good because a lot of people 
uh, mapping Google Maps, uh, I had a hard time uh, not pressing submit button when I tried this feature because uh, it's, it's great. And uh, you can, uh, where OpenStreetMap comes into this? Uh, and last year I s said that uh, this doesn't actually matter for OpenStreetMap, uh, that uh, we are in no hurry, we, we are no business, uh, we don't have a deadline, uh, we can, in 50 years, uh, there will be no Google Maps, but OpenStreetMap will finally get all this local, local knowledge. Uh, and uh, I think I was wrong, <laughs> because uh, when a mapper in, say, Malaysia finally gets to that shop that hasn't been mapped, uh, they won't find it, because <laughs> uh, local knowledge uh, has that feature that uh, it uh, appears and disappears qu quite quickly. So if we don't map it now, there will be nothing to map later. And uh, things we map now will disappear from reality in a few years, but uh, will stay in OpenStreetMap. So uh, our map uh, doesn't re properly reflect real world yeah. unless we uh, make uh, uh, people contribute local knowledge a bit faster than now. And for that, we need to reach, reach out to millions of people with their mobile devices to not make them uh, uh, learn uh, about OpenStreetMap, about our tagging schemes, and so on. And uh, that is basically what uh, we have been doing at MapsMe. It's a pretty simple application uh, for both iPhone and Android. Uh, it displays maps, uh, it's basically everything you think when you think about uh, OpenStreetMap application. Uh, offline maps, uh, offline routing for bicycle, pedestrian, car, uh, bookmarks, searching, geocoding, and whatever. whatever. So, pre pretty kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, what uh, separate, separates uh, this app from other OpenStreetMap applications? is uh, that it has not only developers, but also marketing team. <laughs> so, <laughs> so our task isn't just to make an open system application, it's also to promote it as, uh, to as many people as we can. And right now it has, uh, uh, it's nearing 50 million users. So it's basically the single most popular open system related application. Uh, and it can, <laughs> It can seem at first that uh, this is just another case of uh, some uh, business people coming and uh, trying to take a business advantage out of OpenStreetMap data, but the owners uh, didn't forget about <laughs> OpenStreetMap, and uh, uh, this April, uh, well, we added editing to this application, and we uh, were trying to bring our... Uh, 7 million monthly active users to edit OpenStreetMap. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty simple. It's uh, mostly uh, like the one in Google Maps, adding features, uh, editing text. It's, uh, uh, well, from the OpenStreetMap point of view, it's uh, also very simple. Just it adds nodes and edit text on objects. So. Uh, it's uh, pretty trackable, you can revert it <laughs> at any time. Yeah, so we opened eight to seven million active users and uh, started to wait for results. And in the first month, we get 10,000 users uh, registered and adding things to OpenStreetMap. Uh, not as much as I hoped. I hoped for a million, actually. <laughs> Because I submitted uh, this uh, talk before we launched the uh, editor, <laughs> hence the name, about million users, but still. <laughs> yeah, and uh, still that's good. We just uh, uh, messed a, a bit uh, with marketing, and uh, there are, we decided to bring every user directly to OpenStreetMap, not through some proxy or from, through moderation. So every, every of these users uh, have been registered in OpenStreetMap with their actual verified email, and they can be contacted and so on. But, but registration process in OpenStreetMap is not simple. Uh, well, there, I think one of the reasons that uh, there, are few, there are so few people is that it's very hard to register 
on the OpenStreetMap Org website, and no, nobody from OWG wants to help with that, but whatever. Uh, yeah, about some uh, statistics. Uh, well, three months have passed, and you can see some uh, surges on the charts. Like this uh, new com contributor per month, you see that it was around 8,000 before MapsMe, and uh, almost doubled after. Uh, yeah, I'm not finished. <laughs> uh, so, uh, active contributors, so we have 10,000 more each month. Uh, uh, this uh, graph, uh, this chart is about adding nodes to OpenStreetMap. Uh, you can clearly see a search, and you can see that there were uh, spikes before. That's uh, uh, Nepal Air Square, Squake. That's pro probably Ebola. Well, MapsMe is clearly better than Ebola. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, here is um, how it's called. Uh, uh, well, percent of users <laughs> for each editor. You can see that uh, ID editor was around 70% uh, users uh, were using it before MapsMe. Now uh, MapsMe is slowly going to be the most popular editor <laughs> in OpenStreetMap. <laughs> Overall, uh, but uh, of course, in the number of edits, maps me is uh, not so high because uh, most users make uh, only a couple of edits. But uh, yeah, these are important couple of edits. They add things that are near their homes. Of course, one Josem user can user can in a day map as much as all maps me users <laughs> do in a month, but. <laughs> this will, would be a different kind of edit. So uh, we published editors, and also we waited for a response from uh, OpenStreetMap community. And uh, at first it was, uh, well, pretty good. Uh, Long-standing mappers uh, found out about the editor, tried it, and, well, said it's uh, quite useful. Uh, you know how, how it goes that uh, there are some shops near your house, and uh, you want to map them, but you postpone it because uh, there are well, near your home, so you can do it tomorrow or next week. So I had some uh, that were unmapped for like a year, but with this uh, application I <laughs> did it quite fast. And uh, there were users that uh, registered to OpenStreetMap in like 2007, 2005, and didn't map <laughs> them. Uh, but with MapsMe, they basically made their first edit to OpenStreetMap. So all this time, they were waiting for a correct editor to appear, <laughs> to the right editor. <laughs> right, and uh, last month, uh, mappers have finally started <laughs> to notice uh, there's something uh, happens in OpenStreetMap. Uh, and uh, uh, this is part of the post in the uh, uh, talk mailing list which basically was about how MapsMe users uh, destroy the map. Uh, it was very strange because uh, nothing, uh, there was virtually no response for two and a half months and then suddenly people started, uh, well, to write some stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course, uh, uh, MapsMe edits uh, have their flaws. Uh, mostly because uh, the editor is just three months old and it's not perfect. <laughs> so I, I, I've not, we've noticed, for example, uh, uh, Chinese tourists traveling around the world and changing uh, names of all landmarks to Chinese. Or uh, since uh, MapsMe uses offline data, you don't have to be online to do anything in the MapsMe. Uh, so of course there are duplicates uh, points of interest because uh, data is old and uh, some users may add uh, same thing twice or more. Uh, list of types uh, in maps is limited, so some people choose correct types. Or maybe uh, s some users add uh, like their home with tourist attraction, tourism attraction, and name I live here. And that's not very good, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, some users, uh, some mappers uh, said that uh, people. Uh, editing maps with maps we don't answer, but I think that uh, resembles the pattern with other <laughs> editors. So it's not really maps related. And 
Mapbox data team uh, has tested uh, uh, the suggestion that that uh, most aids through maps may are bad. <laughs> they reviewed uh, 200 change sets and found out that only a few of them were actually can be considered vandalism. For example, uh, this one is basically department stores all over. You can see that one is open, so at least <laughs> you know where to go. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, then another uh, person wrote into talk mailing list, and I found out that I am the cause of all that's bad in OpenStreetMap. I'm very proud. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, I expected uh, somebody else in mailing list to answer that uh, you are not, uh, well, you shouldn't say that. But the next reply was, uh, well, <laughs> It turned out that <laughs> everyone <laughs> really. Uh, what happened? And then uh, the next day, in, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the next day, uh, independently, uh, Russian users uh, have also found out about Maps Made It uh, in, in another way. And the thing they wrote are uh, uh, even worse. Uh, they, they said that uh, we should. Uh, Revert all aids made with MapsMe. We should ban all Maps all MapsMe users who did anything through MapsMe. We should ban the MapsMe editor. And uh, until uh, operation working group uh, is installing that or data working group, uh, we should uh, install auto reverter <laughs> for all aids coming through MapsMe. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, actually. I <laughs> well, and uh, between these constru constructive suggestions, uh, they also, uh, well, uh, they were calling names, uh, uh, putting obscenities, and f the forum has no moderat moderators for some time, so, so they are still there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, some of this has leaked into OpenStreetMap diaries. Um, so. The reason, uh, the question is, why do uh, uh, they write it? Why, why do they feel that way? And it's not because uh, I, I break OpenStreetMap. <laughs> I don't do that. Uh, it's uh, because uh, uh, mappers in OpenStreetMap uh, found out that they have no control over these edits. There are uh, now around uh, 40,000 users that have contributed something from, through MapsMe, and uh, we don't have any tools to deal with that. We don't have any monitoring, analytics, and whatever. So we, we often say that we need a lot of new mappers in OpenStreetMap. We say that, well, a million or two will, will be nice. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to actually seeing new mappers, to, for, to training uh, new mappers, uh, well, it doesn't really work. Because uh, uh, map, uh, OpenStreetMap uh, members want uh, all new people to learn everything about OpenStreetMap, how to use editors, how to tag things. But you know, uh, OpenStreetMap turns 12 uh, in a few weeks. And you know OpenStreetMap data model, nodes, ways, relations, and tags. And in 12 years, nobody has written a tutorial on how to choose tags. You, uh, all manuals basically say there's highway, there's amenity, and the rest you can read in map features page. Have you seen map features page? Uh, that's no tutorial. <laughs> right, so what to do with these all new contributors? Well, in the past few months, years, I've made some. There's, of course, uh, who did it. Uh, uh, this, uh, these are edits for, to, for Seattle for the past week. Uh, this is a simple tool that, uh, where you can su subscribe to changes in your area and monitor them, see if anyone deletes anything. Uh, you should use it. It's uh, the only such tool in OpenStreetMap. Uh, then, of course, I wrote a reverter. When I, uh, uh, you, before this, you had to uh, install JOSM, install reverter pr plugin, and, uh, well, this was quite hard. Now you can copy pay paste uh, change set link. And when I announced it on the Russian forum, <laughs> uh, people said, oh, great, now we can install and uh, automatically revert all changes from MapsMe. 
Well, that's when I left the Russian Forum for good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then there's a monitoring and statistics tool for uh, MapsMe edits. You can see that there's uh, 300,000 uh, edits by, by this time. It's not change set, it's changes. Ch uh, concept of change set is very bad and detrimental to open source web. <laughs> so uh, there are, well, top users, countries, so you can filter by anything. You can, uh, uh, for example, see ch recent changes for your country. And, and also, uh, right from this tool, you can uh, open this in level zero. It's the uh, greatest editor ever made. Uh, and uh, you can uh, revert to them. So if you see any vandalism, you can just we got it right away. Yeah, but really when I, when we made data, I really expected OSM community to make more uh, analytics, monitoring, and other tools to deal with a large number of changes. Uh, and uh, things uh, that were released in the last few months were quite uh, not as good because monitoring, OSM monitoring tool was just counting uh, changes in a replication diff. OSM analytics tool was basically just uh, displayed buildings that have appeared over a few days. Yeah, and uh, well, uh, the problem is, issue is definitely not in editor, but in our tools and in our community. Yeah, and I, I'd like to remind you about uh, Google Maps and that we actually <laughs> really have competition. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Do we have time to, for questions? Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Well, uh, maps me actually doesn't give uh, object versions, so uh, there. Are Conflicts are not possible because uh, it uh, looks what has been changed in an object. It downloads the latest version and merges changes with uh, whatever is in in the database. Well, well, whoever is last wins. <laughs> so. Well, it doesn't hurt to call to ban maps me, at least now. <laughs> but uh, well, the issue with Potlatch wasn't in Potlatch, like the issue with maps isn't in maps. It's uh, just uh, our tools, our data model, and so on. And I think it's fixable. I don't remember anybody calling to ban Potlatch. <laughs> and maps me doesn't break anything in OpenStreetMap. It just adds a lot of data that we need to so. Process. Yeah, uh, they say we have to stop. But uh, you can ask me questions uh, later. <laughs>